Do not use the autofill feature in your browser. And here is why. All right, here's a regular website form we're used to seeing. It wants my name, my address, my organization, and I use the autofill to automatically complete that. I press the sign up form and it was submitted successfully. But then I got this email. And this email is weird because firstly, how do they get my email address? I didn't put that in. And how do they get my telephone number? Both of those pieces of information were not in the original form. So uh, how did this happen? You see, if you're a website owner and you're trying to get customers or leads or sign up to your newsletter, you know that people really don't want to give you more information that is absolutely necessary. In fact, it's been proven time and time again that the less information that you ask for, the more likelihood that someone will actually complete the form. But what if you're one of those sneaky, creepy website owners and you really don't care about doing the right thing? You just want as much information as possible to build your list, not in the most ethical way, and you're even prepared to sell the information. Then you're hiring some equally sneaky developers to build you a form on a website that looks normal, but is anything but. All right, let's go back to the original form. Name, address, organization. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and change the source code on the back end and refresh the page. And now, two more fields appear, an email, and a phone number. And now when I use the autofill, you can see that it completed the email address and the number. So when you press the sign up form, this dodgy website owners now get this information. Okay, you gotta admit, that's pretty messed up. So how do we protect ourselves? How do we check if a form has this? I'm gonna show you the weird, techy, geeky way, and then let me give you some better options. All right, so open up the form, right click on it, and then choose view page source. And here you're gonna see all the source code of this web page. This is what the browser actually sees. Obviously in real life, it's not blurry. I'm just blurring it for the protection of this website. And if you do a search for something called hidden, you will probably see a whole bunch of them. It doesn't mean it's all dodgy, but we wanna look for something called input. Now here is the form, there is the name, there is the address, there is the organization. But inside the same form, there is form field email, and that is hidden. And that should not be this way. Now, this isn't foolproof, and many forms are much more complicated than the simple one, so it's a bit of a nightmare and takes time. Also, what they can do is actually not hide the fields. They can take the text color and the field color and make it the exact same as the background. So visually, you don't even notice it. I've even seen some form where they hide it underneath an image and they get super creative with this nonsense. So yeah, by all means, if you wanna spend time going through source code, go for it. Or you can just do this. Right, click on manage addresses or go to settings and then choose the autofill and password. And ideally, you wanna delete it. You should not have any addresses or information in your autofill. So here's what you can do. Fill in a form, put in your name, your address, your organization, and click on sign up. Now watch what happens the next time I go to a form that has a similar field. As I click on name, it knows I've typed this name in before. This is different. That's the autocomplete. And the only field that it fills in is what you're actually physically clicking in. Another option is that you can have a notepad file that has all your information already pre-typed and you're simply going to save that somewhere on your desktop. And the next time you're gonna fill in a form, you're gonna open up the notepad, click on the information, right click, and then copy and paste. Uh, saves you a couple of keystrokes, I guess. And yes, I know that typing the information manually is extra work, but it's better than handing over any information you don't wanna give. I will say that filling in a form every once in a while is fine, but it got really irritating having to do this repeatedly, like when I had to book a trip to Europe and had to book cars and hotels and rail tickets and a whole bunch more. So I recently found this great solution for creating digital identities for all these forms, which you can check out right over here. Before you head out, give the video a quick thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in this video. Let's go.